Hello everybody. Uh, earlier I have shown you my this project and this is JSM based security alarm system. It is having a PRI sensor and a JSM module and uh, we can give command to this security alarm system uh, using the SMS and uh, in the threatening condition it reply us by SMS and uh, by a call and it is also having the feature of uh, siren and uh, additional relay switches there we can connect anything with that like lights and uh, I have made an another version of this type of security alarm system is there and <coughs> I have introduced some additional feature with it is this remote control and it is 433 megahertz based remote control and uh, I have programmed it with this whole system it is functioning as my previous version uh, other than this remote control it is having the keys uh, from this key we can arm the device and from this another key we can unarm and these two key I have programmed for the panic condition if anybody anybody press this key in the panic situation it uh, start functioning and the uh, siren start buzzing and uh, this relay switch whatever we connect goes on and uh, this module also inform us using the SMS and the call. So let's see. Uh, I, I'd like to give a demo for this security alarm system. Let's see how it works. Here I'm going to give a demo how this device works. Uh, there is a switch power on switch is there and three LED indications are there. First LED indication is for the status of power on condition and second one is for indicating that the uh, device is ready to take the SMS command or the command from this remote uh, when this GSM board get registered with the network this LED start glowing and uh, third one is there to indicate the status of the security alarm system when this security alarm system is in armed state this LED start glowing and uh, when we unarm this device this LED goes off and this is a PIR motion sensor in front of this PIR motion sensor uh, if anything moves up to 7 meters uh, this device detect the threatening status and uh, threatening condition it start buzzing it may start uh, lights may lights on and uh, it send the sms and the call to the owner so now we are going to power on this device and uh, let's see now <coughs> we have power on this device and we can see this red LED indication that the device is powered on and after a few seconds uh, this next LED will start glowing when this device this GSM board get registered with the GSM network and uh, you may see this is on and now the device is ready to take the commands the command may be given from this small remote or from the SMS now this motion sensor is detecting my motion uh, I'm moving in front of it so uh, this is the alarming condition for the device so I'm changing the face of the, uh, this device another side so it will not detect my motion and uh, thereafter I'll make this device armed Here I'm going to give a demo for this device and first of all I'll give a demo for the panic conditions. Uh, the device is either armed or unarmed. The panic switch will be working. If uh, anybody press this panic switch then uh, this device start 
its function it will make calls it will send sms the buzzer will be on and lights will also on and these two buttons are there we can press either button and if we press it once it will start and if you press again then will it will start they are in toggle mode so let's see how it is working see the sms and a call was also there from this system that there is a security threat and it is functioned properly so this is the panic switch of this device now i'll show you another uh, another functions of this device now i'm going to give a demo for armed and unarmed condition of the device so if i press this armed key once then it will send a message and by beep indication we can listen and it will also send an sms that the device is in armed condition here it is the message we can see the house is armed and when we press this unarmed button uh, it will unarmed and uh, two beep will indicate that it is received an unarmed command from the remote and uh, now here you can see the message there that the house is unarmed now what else we can be able to do we can able to send the message from this mobile if you send any garbage message then this device will send us a list of commands what it understand and what it accepts takes few seconds because everything is depends on the gsm networks so here it is you can see it has received the uh, message that the unknown command given to the security system command list is here it is the command list is given so we can send any command to it from this command list it is not case sensitive so we can given small also here it is we have given the command armed a single beep will indicate that the device is armed and a confirmation message will also be there so this beep indicate that the device is armed and we have to receive a message also here it is the message you can see it is saying that house is armed now if if i give any command like status it will return us the message about the status of the security alarm system that what is the current situation is so takes times okay here it is the message the security system message that house status arm and safe now if you want to unarm the device then we can simply send an arm message so two beeps will indicate that the device is unarmed and it will also send the message okay two beeps are there and it is going to send us a message that the device is in unarmed state here it is and if i assume that i'm giving a command and if i make any mistake then it will understand that the command is not correct and it will send us the correct list of the commands so in this way it accepts the gsm commands also let's see here it is received message that the command list is so and so now the last condition is there that if the device is in arm condition and uh, any security threat is there and anyone is in front of this pir motion sensor then uh, it starts buzzing so i'd like to 
give you the demo for that. Lastly, I'm going to give the demo that what happens if any security threat is there and uh, anyone comes in front of the PIO motion sensor uh, and uh, the device is armed. So what happens if, uh, assume that I'm, I'm making this device arm and uh, I'm creating an artificial security threat condition by putting my hand in front of this motion sensor. seen that the arm message is there and in the condition of security threat the security threat message is there and my hooter start buzzing and now I'll send an unarmed command also so I'll receive a message for the unarmed here it is uh, the device is unarmed so this this is how my this old device is working thanks for watching